Charges filed today in connection with that tragic Labor Day mishap which claimed four lives. Four months after the episode, a young man is facing four counts over his alleged negligence. Here's Fern Carey. Handcuffed and escorted by police, 22-year-old Travis Sawyer arrived at court facing four charges relating to the Labor Day tragedy. The Silvergate resident and businessman is accused of manslaughter by negligence in the deaths of four women hit by a truck along the parade road on East and Shirley Streets. Twenty other people were also injured during that incident. In court, Sawyer was not required to enter a plea. He's accused of by means of unlawful harm, causing the deaths of Tabitha Hay, Tommy Patrice Gibson, Diana Gray Ferguson, and Kathleen Fernander. The women were all members of the Bahamas Financial Services Union or affiliated with it. When asked by the magistrate if he understood the charges, Sawyer, who appeared calm, said yes. He was not required to enter a plea. Bail was denied and he was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections. Now, prosecutors have indicated that the case will be fast-tracked to Supreme Court by way of voluntary bill of indictment. Sawyer is facing up to five years in prison in connection with the charges. Meantime, his attorney says he will be filing a bail application for Sawyer immediately in Supreme Court. Fern Carey, ZNS Network News.